Hello everyone, welcome back to No Man's Sky Synthesis. We're doing our tutorial in normal mode. Today we're going to start with the Tame Creatures mission. And we'll get, we're going to gain 11 life support gel and 330 nanites. And an awesome full-size nutrient processor. If you buy the nutrient processor, there's my ship. <laughs> If you buy the nutrient processor, you'll only get 10 slots uh, to store things in. If you do the mission, even if you don't complete the mission, you'll get 20 slots. Plus, we're going to get a warp out of this for free because the anomaly is going to warp us somewhere uh, without using our hyperdrive fuel. As you can see, it changed my log. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that it's back on the log that we want to do. Oh, did it send us back to where we were? Aww. <laughs> Sometimes it does that. If you don't warp, warp far enough away. As you can see, it won't let me warp to where I want to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up where I want to go. That indication that shows in the lower right corner matches that. I'm going to open my options menu. I'm going to go into, I think it's general options. Turn the HUD off. Exit. Start my pulse. Go back into the options menu. And turn the HUD back on. There we go. Sometimes if two objects are too close to each other, like the yellow beacon and uh, where we need to go, you end up with that happening. It, it just tends to constantly send you back uh, to the older indication, in this case, the beacon that's on that crash freighter. It's actually sending us to our home planet so we won't have to worry about uh, predators. We don't actually have to worry about completing the mission, although completing the mission will help because those 11 life support gels will really come in handy. You can see that marker disappeared because we've reached the atmosphere of the planet. We can now go anywhere on the planet we want to go. It's going to be kind of hard to find animals in the dark. We'll go ahead and land and see if there's any animals. And if there isn't, then we're going to uh, fly back up into space and go to the sunny side of the planet. There's a little guy right there. Oh, it, uh, it says, deploy the nutrient processor. If you didn't get the facium first, it would tell you to uh, go get facium by feeding animals. So we need to uh, use Z and look at the instructions. We need two metal plates and a hermetic seal. So we need at least 100 uh, ferrite to get two metal plates. And we also need... 30 condensed carbon for the hermetic seal. And we don't want to put it on top of the dihydrogen. There we go. Now we can open our nutrient processor. And you can see we got full slots, all 20 slots. Uh, if we hadn't taken that step, we would not have gotten that. Now the other thing that we can do is we happen to have some pulpy roots and facium. So we can go ahead and cook some kind of bait. It's going to give us enzyme fluid. That may not be the kind of bait that we need, though. It is for this little guy, for the tiny little strider. But you should be able to go into your discoveries and look at the animals that you have and go through, and it should tell you what kind of bait they like. Sweetened compost for this guy. Enzyme fluid. Fermented fruit. Scented herbs and fermented fruit and scented herbs. Sweetened compost is any kind of bait plus facium. Gotta get that one out of there. 
Any kind of bait at all, plus facium, makes sweetened compost. Let's see if we can find some more kinds of food to make bait with. We'll just look around here. There's more pulpy roots. There's some sweet root. Let's go get that. It's not very far away. At this point, if you leave your nutrient processor behind, now that you've made it for the mission, you can just make another one and you'll get the same, same processor. So let's see what that makes. Put in the facium and the sweet root, and we're gonna get fermented fruit. So now we have two kinds of bait. We'll just look around and see if there's any more. What do we got over there? Fungal cluster. Now I haven't installed the hazmat glove yet. I don't think I can. Let's see here. Nope, the chromatic metal, if I have any, is on the ship. We'll grab the fermented fruit and the facium. Pick that up. Let's see if I have enough chromatic metal to do that. Let's see how much I have. I have exactly 50. Okay. So we'll go ahead and put that in. 50 chromatic metal and 20 sodium nitrate. We'll have to get sodium nitrate again because I think I just used all of it. <laughs> okay, now we can get fungal cluster. There's some over there. Is there any closer? That's much closer. Let's go do that. There's no time limit on finishing these missions. But um, if you reload your game or close your game, <clears throat> it will end the mission. So you do need to, if you intend to finish the mission, you do need to do it while your game is still open. I think I'll grab that sodium. Now that sodium should have gone directly to cargo because I have some sodium in cargo already. So that should go right straight in there. While we're running around, I happen to notice that there's a um, buried tech module. It's not buried, though. <laughs> and we also have a damaged machinery. And that's going to give us rusted metal, so I'm going to let that go. And we got launch fuel for it. There's another one over here. Oh, I hear an animal. Got the little walker guys, they like enzyme fluid. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw some to them. There we go. And we can collect what they give to use for food. They give eggs. They'll give it again in about 40 seconds. And there's living slime. Again, you could collect all that and make nanites out of it. Oh, radiation protection module. Awesome. Let's see. There it is right there. So we'll go ahead and apply that. You need, radi uh, you need uranium in order to run that. Here's some fungal cluster right here. We're not gonna pick up very much, although we can carry 9,000 of it. Let's just drop the processor down and see what we can make with that. Fungal mold all by itself makes non-toxic mushrooms. <laughs> if you add facium to it, you get more enzyme fluid. And we've got plenty of en enzyme fluid. You can also store that stuff in here, uh, carbon, all of the plants, uh, facium, mordite, any kind of meat, um, and all the baits will store in there. All 
right, the sun's coming up. We're gonna find more animals now. And we just go back towards our ship. Just looking around here, see if there's anything immediately close by. Oh, there's some jade peas. Let's go get those. That sound, that beeping, means that we've entered a region. And we may be able to see a building from here. We're somewhere within range of it, but our scanner may not be good enough yet. There's the building right over there. 384 units away. Let's see, there's the jade peas. Oops, I stubbed my toe. Let's see what we can make with jade peas. Now, jade peas makes steamed vegetables, and that's great for making pie with. And with facium, we get scented herbs. So we're going to make that, because that's a bait that we don't have yet. Building, see if it's a bit important. Oh, we need this. We need condensed carbon to make warp fuel. We are out of chromatic metal though, so in order to make another warp cell, we're going to have to go get some chromatic metal. It's actually kind of fortuitous that. Uh, this Taming Creatures mission brought us home, but I would have liked to have a more, uh, to have another star system to teleport to. There's some oxygen. Oh, what have we found here? There's a sentinel next to me, so I'm going to be quick. See, he says he's investigating. And down in the lower right corner, if he's still close by... Oh, there's a guy here that needs our help, maybe. Uh, we got nanites. Once this, when the sentinel's, sentinel is there, you can see an alert on your lower right, right, right of your screen. He doesn't have a ship but we might be able to call him some help. Let's see if we can help him. Can't understand a word he's saying though. Corvax serenely navigates the terrain here. If they do have a respiratory system, it must be unaffected by this planet's toxic atmosphere. After performing a swift analysis of my equipment, they freely recharge my hazard protection. Thanks. <laughs> Analyst Flotten is a very kind guy. Look at that. He didn't fully recharge it, but he recharged quite a bit of it. I'm gonna grab this region marker, save and chart, get some nav data and 10 nanites. Oh, let's see, I think we already got that. And there's a little bit more condensed carbon right here. And let's see what's that. That's the rest of that fungal cluster. Fungal cluster. Some more sweet root. There's another building up there. We're looking for animals because that's what we're here for, is to tame animals. So if we see any green dots, or red dots, we won't see any red dots because we found them all. But if we see any green dots, we're gonna stop and try to feed that animal. Hopefully we'll find, what do we need? Uh, nine more animals to feed. Looks like we're coming up on an observatory.
We're going to get a location marked here, but we're not going to go do it yet. Well, when we come back from the uh, space anomaly, we'll worry about stuff like this. I'm trying to find the door. There we go. All right. Take a quick look around and see if there's any goodies. There's a guy here. There's a yellow box. And there's a knickknack on the table. All right, let's look at the terminal. I stand at the terminal and watch a beacon from an unknown star endlessly play itself out on the screen. The pattern seems clear, but what to enter? So here's a sequence of numbers. We just have to figure out the pattern. As you can see, the numbers repeat. So we have 2738 and then 7382 and then 3827. So the next one in line is going to be 8273. I discover the location within the distant stars. Can you see where our ship is over there on the right? I didn't see any more buildings though. Let's leave him for now. And we'll go back towards the ship. You can also use, oh, here's some nav data right here. You can also use navigation data to call your ship to you. Let's see if we can find some ground animals before we go all the way back over there. I'd like to finish this mission since it should be fairly easy to do on our home planet. We don't have to worry about running into anything dangerous. Oh, where's all the creatures? There's a machinery. No? Nav data. Or, I mean, uh, excuse me, the hydrogen. The uh, sentinel was highlighting him. You can also scan the sentinels. His job is to sow discord. <laughs> We got over there more jade peas, fungal clusters, more jade peas. Not seeing anything else. You can also find uh, heptaloid wheat and um, impulse beans. There's some creatures. All right, let's look at them. They want enzyme fluid. Here you go. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Couldn't see them at all because of they're so small. Very cool. They just have eggs. <laughs> they move you around because they like you. <laughs> Let's see, nine of 12. We just need to feed a few more creatures. So we'll hang out with these guys. You can make a few things with eggs. And I will link the... Oh boy, there's so many of them. Here, let's feed these guys too. I will link uh, Zane's World's uh, cooking and recipe guide. Let's grab these eggs so that we can sell them. <laughs> They're standing too close to each other. <laughs> it's a bunch of eggs to sell. You can cook with them. I prefer not to. I prefer to just sell them. Oops, he got the, uh, he got that little bit of kibble. <laughs> oh, it's the little tiny guys in front. There we go. Now we got the mission complete music so we can actually return uh, to the anomaly and turn the mission in at the Nexus and we'll get paid. I don't want to leave behind any of these eggs though. 
<laughs> uh, somebody's hiding in there. Uh, there's some more facium. We'll try to pick that up. We gotta move these guys. And they'll probably follow us. So you just walk away a little bit. Let's see here. Here's some eggs. Oops. There go. <laughs> Here's some more facium. There's some right there. The smaller the creature, the less facium they give. But there's a lot of creatures that got that kibble, so we're going to get some facium out of this. <laughs> yeah, there's somebody with it for, for eggs. You can see the little sign over their head changes when they've got whatever product they have available. Oh, right there. <laughs> All right, are we just about done, guys? There we go. Wow, look at how many eggs we got. I'm going to set down the processor and get the eggs back out. There we go. We're going to put the bait away so that we're not carrying it in our suit and put the facium away. Now you can cook the eggs. Right now, 34 eggs is worth 100,000 units. Let's cook one egg and see how much it's worth. Nope, oh, there's one. There's two, actually. All right. I'm going to go in our suit and hover over that. Total value, 4,400 units. That's 2,200 units each for a cooked egg. For a raw egg, they're worth 3,200 each. So you gotta watch that. They're actually more valuable raw to sell, that is. All righty. Pick up our processor. And since we completed the mission, we'll go ahead and use uh, the landing beacon here to call the ship. Let's see how much navigation data we've got 17 so we have plenty now if your launchers are empty your ships uh launchers are empty ours are not but if they were oh actually ours are perfect example there you go empty launchers but with navigation data we can call the ship anyway i thought i filled them <laughs> you also don't need them to launch off of this beacon but we are gonna fill the launchers. We happen to have a launch fuel we picked up from a machine. And I'll go ahead and fill the pulse engine. All right. This gives me a chance to show you one more awesome thing about uh, Nexus missions. We can just call it right here. We're in our home system right now. And just by luck, it happened to send us here. So when we turn in this mission, if we want to stay here so that we don't have to teleport or warp home, we can actually change the exit mission, the exit uh, uh, conditions for leaving the anomaly. And we're going to do that right here. And right down here in the lower right, it says change exit setting. Right now it says return to home system, which means the system where we got the mission from. If we change the exit setting, it'll keep us in the system, stay in mission system, which happens to be our, our home system in this case. There we go. We got 11 live support gels, which is super handy. And we got a bunch more nanites. And we are set. <laughs> when we come back tomorrow, we're going to do a far more complex mission with a much more valuable in, uh, outcome for us. We are going to seek storm crystals, which can be dangerous, but we're going to be really careful about it. And I'll show you how to do that tomorrow. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. 
Have a great day.